Whenever a person is talking about the rapture and somebody doesn't believe in the rapture, they always bring you to this verse. This is John 17, verse 15. They said, look, guys, there is no rapture. We're not being raptured from the world because Jesus said that right here. John 17, 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So then they say, see, Jesus is saying that he doesn't want his disciples or believers to be removed from the world. That means there is no rapture, especially before the great and terrible day, before Jacob's trouble. They'll use this verse. But when you understand that that's not what John was talking about, Look at this. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So what's he talking about here? Well, I like using scripture against scripture to figure things out. So look at this. Uh, where are we going here? Right here. Talking about the world will hate Jesus' followers. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Uh-oh. Here we go. I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. So this is Jesus' basically last message to his disciples because he was about to be killed. He's like, look, guys, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you're not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Then we get over here. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldst keep them from evil. So we're getting some hints here as to what this is. And Paul, thank God for Paul, because he can bring things home, all the mysteries of God. So let's go over to 1 Corinthians. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9. Look at this, put away the wicked. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators, semicolon, Yet, or colon, I should say, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world or with the covetousness, covetous, or extortioners or with idolaters, for then must ye needs go out of the world. What is he talking about here? He's talking about people like the Puritans. They couldn't stand the people around them, so they removed themselves from the world. They isolated themselves. That's what Jesus was talking about. He's like, I'm, I don't want these people to isolate themselves from the world. Because Paul is saying this, look, don't company with fornicators. But I'm not talking about altogether the fornicators of this world as in separating yourself isolating yourself from the world because then then we're talking about going out of the world as in separating yourself out in the woods by yourself because you think the wicked the people are so wicked that you can't even commerce you can't even do things you can't even buy and sell stuff so that's not what Paul's talking about. It's about I, I want you to be able to live with the world, but not be of the world. Because otherwise you're going to have to isolate yourself. And again, this is what the Puritans did. They wanted to make themselves pure, so they didn't want to hang out with evil people. And I know people like this where they're like, oh man, this world is so wicked. Like I can't, I just... I want out of here. I can't stand my neighbors. They're so wicked. So wicked. I just, I wish I could just be by myself on a mountaintop where I could just pray to Jesus every day. Just be, just Jesus and I, and that's it. And Paul say, no, that's not what I want you to do. It's impossible. You're going to have people around you all the time, but you don't need to hang out with them. 
and be like, yeah, sure, let's go get drunk somewhere. No. So this is the heart behind what Paul's talking about. Do not company with fornicators, especially those that say that they're believers and they're doing all these wicked things. Don't hang out with them. But don't remove yourself and be isolated on the mountain by yourself, living as though you don't need anyone. Hopefully that makes sense. Because this is what Jesus was saying too. I'm not praying, Father, that you remove them from the world. As in, isolate themselves. That's what he was talking about. So hopefully this makes sense. If you got something out of this, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to share your comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.